very few chances come along to become a hero. By participating in this landmark research program, my daughters, granddaughters, great-granddaughters, and all women will benefit over the years. It is very likely that each of us has been helped by the results of a research study. The health of millions has been improved because of those who have volunteered their time to take part in research. Clinical research lays the foundation for the information that's necessary for us to make advances in medicine, to offer new treatments and healthcare decisions for the future. Research is indeed the only way we'll make progress in terms of early diagnosing of a problem, prevention of a problem, and certainly treatment of a problem. There are many ways to participate. Some misconceptions may lead people to believe all research studies are invasive. However, there are studies that may be as easy as taking a survey. Some studies can even be fun. Unfortunately, I think there's that negative connotation that all studies are either needle pricks or blood. And I think there are a lot of studies out there which are fun and you're involved. You get to be like in the fun aspect of science. Science isn't all reading and books and graphs and data, but science isn't you know, involved. And it's little things like this that make a huge difference. Some people think things where they think you're going to break out in this or you're going to break out in that and it's going to cause all these massive side effects. A lot of people think that we're just guinea pigs. It's almost like a misconception. Um, we had no problems. It was smooth flowing. I didn't know nothing about medical research before. I like it now. <laughs> Many understand the importance of supporting scientific studies in order to benefit current and future generations, and some hope to gain more information about their own condition. I'd never heard of Crohn's until they told me she had it. They've been trying for the four years now to get it under control, and it was kind of, it's kind of hard, so then he suggested that we try the research. So we did. Being in a study, it's like after you're in it, you're like, it's just another part of life. I think it's awesome. I'm excited that I did this for other people. It takes a team to improve public health. Research study participants are a crucial part of this team. So I've been doing clinical trials for the last 20 years or so, and I've put uh, probably hundreds and hundreds of patients into clinical trials over the years but I had never really participated in a trial myself. So I volunteered for a study uh, related to people who've had knee injuries in the past. One of the advantages of being in the trial is that you have people who are really interested in exactly how you're doing and how you're taking your medicines and, and the side effects of the medicines. I learn as a researcher from being a volunteer. Staff's just wonderful, really, yeah. If I have a question, I just call them, yeah. But they've generally answered the question before I can ask it. They've kept me informed of what to expect, and so there's been no, really no questions to ask. These families are just unbelievable, you know, what they will give to us, you know, and, and I think time being the most important factor that we appreciate. There are clinical research opportunities for almost everyone to participate in. For healthy individuals, participating in studies that help us to understand risk for disease or how they make healthcare choices is an important contribution. For individuals who have disease, donation of their blood or biospecimens, which might help us to focus on new diagnostic tests or the creation of new treatments that might be effective 
or participating in a clinical trial, which will give them access not only to new treatments, but in fact for us to understand how to best personalize them becomes an important contribution. Now everybody who participates in a clinical trial doesn't have to have a disease. There are many individuals who are simply healthy people who want to do something to better society. But the bottom line is that everybody can contribute to the effort of clinical trials or research, medical research, because ultimately that's the only way we're going to make progress. Whether deciding to participate in a research study to bring hope to yourself or others, the benefit will be shared by the public and medical science will advance. It, it, it's good that people are willing to, to uh, go into studies uh, in order to improve the quality of their life and hopefully improve the quality of other people or future generations because we need studies to understand how the body operates. People just need to get on board. Somebody has to step up and they have to, to know that what's going, what the research is doing is helping other people. So you got to step up. All of the progress that's been made in medical treatment, all of the advancements, have occurred because people have stepped up to the plate and participated in clinical trials. They may have been your neighbor, they may have been your relative, they may have been someone in another section of our country who you do not know and will never know. But it's through the efforts of those individuals and many thousands like them that we can make a difference. I think really at the end of the day, you know, that clinical research is altruistic. The reason that one takes that extra step to be involved in clinical research is that they really do want to be part of the answer. Are you ready to pay forward and be part of the answer? Are you ready to be part of the answer? Are you ready to be part of the answer? Are you ready to be part of the answer? Are you ready to be part of the answer? Are you ready to be part of the answer? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to? Are you ready? Are you ready to be part of the answer? More information on research studies and opportunities to participate can be found by visiting clinicaltrials.gov or the National Registry for Volunteers at researchmatch.org.